Wake up, Link. From its mysterious opening to its action-packed conclusion, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild feels like a revolution for Nintendo's revered series. It's both a return to the classic feel of Zelda and a leap into uncharted territory, and it exceeds expectations on both fronts. You have to be cautious, creative, and willing to go to great lengths to secure valuable resources. Death comes quickly, and whether it's at the hand of a formidable enemy or because you charged unprepared down a treacherous path, you're forced to reconsider almost everything you've learned from past Zelda games. There's so much to see, to accomplish, and to learn that you never feel like you have control over the world. This is a great thing. Where so many games front load excitement and wonder, Breath of the Wild sustains the thrill of unexpected discoveries throughout. Begin your familiar quest to defeat Ganon and rescue Princess Zelda with little more than a tree branch to defend yourself from roaming goblins. However, it doesn't take long to build up a diverse arsenal. Nearly every enemy carries a weapon or a shield, and if you can beat them, their gear is yours for the taking. This is also a godsend given that every weapon has finite durability. Therefore, you will blow through dozens if not hundreds of weapons during your adventure, which no doubt feels strange at first, but you learn to move on. There's no shortage of new gear to discover. And though you aren't able to utilize a consistent stable of familiar tools, you learn to expect that for every weapon you've lost, there's something better coming just down the road. In practice, the weapon you wield is important, but not necessarily as important as how you control it. Enemies in Breath of the Wild are intelligent and utilize wildly different tactics that force you to read their movements and react accordingly. It's imperative that you parry or dodge an attack at just the right time which will trigger a moment of slow motion that allows you to unleash a flurry of attacks against a vulnerable foe. These moves are your last line of defense when the going gets tough, and they require very precise timing to execute. Given the myriad enemies and weapons you're up against, mastery feels almost unattainable even with substantial practice. However, that also means you're constantly learning in the face of unforeseen challenges. And there are innumerable unexpected possibilities that the game never teaches you about. You're never told, for example, that grazing an enemy's wooden weapon with a fire arrow will set it ablaze, thus making the fight harder for you. And you may be shocked to learn that an enemy will pick up any weapons you discard during battle and use them against you. Your power and wisdom grow as you progress, but you never feel totally invincible, which allows even late game exploration to feel tense, challenging, and rewarding. <laughs> Beyond weaponry, Link also has access to magical skills known as runes. These include the ability to move metallic objects with a magical tether, which can be used for, among other tricks, dropping large iron boxes on unsuspecting enemies. Link can also freeze enemies and objects in place for a limited amount of time. When an object is frozen, it absorbs energy rather than reacting immediately to whatever force you exert upon it. And when time unfreezes, all of that collected force is released in an instant. Runes prove to be a wonderful source of creativity and problem solving, both in combat and when managing puzzles. Breath of the Wild's four main dungeons differ from the norm in that you aren't focused on finding keys to open doors. Instead, the goal is to manipulate the dungeon itself, to literally change its form in order to access important areas. It's a wonderful break from tradition, and you still get a challenging boss battle to look forward to at the end. Gone are the oddly charming bosses from Zelda's past. They've been replaced with dark and twisted fiends that are powerful combatants. Like your fights against normal enemies, you have to move and act deliberately, or suffer the consequences. There are also dozens of mini-dungeons that test your mastery of Link's combat and rune abilities. Compared to roughing it in nature, these shrines provide brain teasers that are an excellent respite and make great use of the game's impressive physics system. Figuring out what to do is only half the battle. The rest comes down to precise execution. Therefore, solving even simple puzzles can feel immensely rewarding. Somewhat surprisingly, exploration often proves far more challenging than combat or puzzle solving. You may struggle due to Link's physical limitations and harsh weather that hinders his progress. Equipping metal weapons and armor will turn Link into a veritable lightning rod during a storm. And if you're climbing a mountain when it starts to rain, you won't be able to climb more than a few feet before losing your grip and sliding back down. You can fast travel between shrines, but to avoid long treks is to really rob yourself of some of the best moments of discovery in Breath of the Wild. 
and the sense of satisfaction you feel for overcoming its most foreboding environments. Hyrule is a beautiful world to behold from the top of a mountain, but perching Link on high has other benefits. Link obtains a hang glider early on in the game, which he then carries with him at all times. Your reward for scaling a mountain or tower is the opportunity to soar through the skies and cross large tracts of lands with your glider. And if you're skillful, you can even use your shield as a veritable snowboard to glide down grassy hills and frozen slopes. <laughs> Granted, Link can surf down hills at any time as long as his shield can handle the wear and tear, but it's especially gratifying to drop onto a slope after flying over a massive canyon or a dense forest and coast into a town in style. The few towns that exist in the new Hyrule mimic the understated and rural qualities seen in Studio Ghibli's Princess Mononoke. Equally charming are the hikers you meet on trails. These lonely yet upbeat adventurers offer humorous quips and perhaps a side quest with a quirky premise. You spend so much time fighting to survive, all while under the cloud of your impending fight with the dark and powerful Ganon. By contrast, your interactions with NPCs are opportunities to slow down and help out a friendly stranger in need. Though you have a goal in mind, Breath of the Wild is just filled with delightful distractions. If you've ever hiked deep into the wilderness and found yourself awash in wonderment and perhaps guilt for living a life steeped in modern indulgences, Breath of the Wild's reverence for the natural world will strike a chord. It's the way the rising sun graces blades of grass as you climb a steep hill. It's the flutter of a few well-timed piano notes that dance in your ear and harmonize with your own childlike amazement. And it's the unwavering delight and excitement that each new discovery brings. It can come when you reveal a new portion of the world map and find a curious landmark, but there's also an endless stream of smaller discoveries to find in the middle. The fact that Breath of the Wild continues to surprise you with newfound rules and possibilities after dozens of hours is by far its most valuable quality. It's a game that allows you to feel gradually more and more empowered, yet simultaneously manages to retain a sense of challenge and mystery, which together creates a steady, consistent feeling of gratification throughout the entire experience. Breath of the Wild is a defining moment for the Legend of Zelda series, and the most impressive game Nintendo has ever created. Link, you are the light. Our light must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go.